Thanks for tuning in. This is a sweet cyclist. Today we're going to be looking at the Relight CIO battery free bike light set. So today we're going to be reviewing something a little bit different. This is the Relight CIO. This is the version three of this light. This is a battery free light. So no rechargeability, no batteries replaced, no friction. It simply uses magnets on your spoke and inside the lights. Uh, packaging wise, really simple. You can see it has a nice eco-friendly cardboard design with this cool little window as well. So you can see it includes a taillight and a headlight with a set. All the specs and everything are on the back. We'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging and review some of the specifications. The retail price for this is $59 and it includes both the front and rear taillight as well as the required magnet. It also has theft proof mounting, which is pretty cool. It's not a standard rubber mount. And as I mentioned, there's a right hand version and a left hand version of these. They're also battery free, as I said, you simply use a magnet. And with the third version, they've actually improved the optics on this to have a little more wider beam for better visibility. Inside the box, you see we have the manual here. We have basic packaging. And then we have the headlight and the taillight held in with these zip ties. Go ahead and pop that out. And these actually flash once they're in operation and will hold a charge for up to two minutes when you're sitting at a traffic light so they won't immediately turn off. Now you can see the mounting here is quite cool. It uses these straps with a little bolt design that's quite unique to this, so a lot more theft proof than a standard rubber strap. So in the box, we have the headlight and taillight. As I mentioned, there is a right-hand version, a left-hand version that's optimized for a country you're in. And then you have the spoke magnets for the front and rear, as well as the instruction manual. Now let's take a second to look at the weight of the Relight CIO lights. Now if we take the front light with its associated magnet, that comes in at 60 grams. And then if we take the taillight with its associated magnet, it also comes in at 60 grams, so pretty lightweight for what they are. So now let's look at the fit and finish of the Relight CIO lights. These are pretty unique looking lights, and due to the magnetic nature of them, have to be mounted uh, against the fork near the wheel. So because of that, you have this more elongated design. The headlight and taillight actually have almost identical uh, designs except for the lenses. With the version three, they've actually improved the light distribution of the lenses to be a little wider. These aren't particularly bright. I believe the data sheet shows them to be less than 20 lumens. So they're more of a be seen type light than to actually see. But these are great if you wanna leave it on your bike as a way to have uh, extra visibility at night. As I said, they're both pretty identical. So if we look at one, uh, you can see it has this almost spherical bearing design here that just has a plastic friction and that'll actually let you adjust the light. So you need to get this within a few millimeters of the magnet. Uh, inside the instructions, they also include this handy little tool. So you just attach that to the, mag to the light and then it helps you adjust it so it's in place. So that's the ideal distance between the two for generating current. It's also worth noting that these uh, spoke magnets are only, only designed for standard spokes. So if you have bladed spokes, this won't work. The other cool thing about these is how they mount. So they use a wire, a metal wire strap instead of a standard uh, plastic strap. This makes them a lot more theft deterrent as they're a little more work to take off. Now they also provide a little tool with that and that's a little 2.5 millimeter Allen key. So if you lose this, you can still use a standard Allen key. Then there's a little slot between on the bottom side of both the headlight and taillight. Uh, this will let you actually adjust the tension on this wire. So now let's do the front light installation. Here I've got my light and inside the instruction manual you'll find this little coin as well as the Allen key. This is a 2.5 millimeter Allen key uh, that's used both to loosen and tighten the wire uh, strap mechanism as well as tighten the spoke magnet. So I have the spoke magnet, the little coin, and this separate. This is the ideal distance you need between the magnet and the light to make the installation easier. So first we will start by adjusting the tension on the front light and has a little hidden key here. And you can see the hook design. You basically need to wrap this around. So I've already loosened this a bit, 
to accommodate the frame. So I'm going to put that through, hook it, and then once I have it in place, simply tighten this down. Now the key here is you want to optimize the distance between the light and the spoke magnet. So you want to really get that placement down. And then with this little spherical mounting system, you can actually adjust this as needed. So I'm going to get this fairly tight, but not all the way. And you can see here, the nice thing is with the bike on the mount, I can simply rotate this. Now we'll install the spoke magnet. You can see it has a slot here for normal spokes. If you have a bladed spoke, this obviously won't work. Use the same Allen key tool to remove the little screw on the back. Now we'll place this on the non-drive side. Put the bolt in and then mess with the placement. So you can see now after a little bit of fiddling, I have the magnet pretty well placed. You can even see when I let go of the wheel, it actually wants to rest at that magnet spot. Now if I spin that around, you can should be able to slightly tell uh, this will pulse every time it goes around. Now according to the instructions, they do want you to run this for about 60 seconds before it really comes to full power as there is a capacitor inside which will uh, hold some charge after some use. So now let's jump to the rear. So same installation procedure. I have my tail light with the magnet side on the inside. I have the spoke magnet with the little uh, lineman uh, coin here, as well as my little tool. So what I'll basically do is I'm going to put this uh, loosely on here, as well as put the uh, spoke magnet loosely on the spoke. Now that I have everything in place, uh, you can see it's just touching. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and now we'll spin the wheel and see if it turns on. So now let's compare the Relight CIO lights for some other light sets on the market. What I have here is an arrangement of USB, micro USB rechargeable lights that we reviewed here on the channel. And I think what's interesting about these is they provide an, a nice comparison between form factor size with the battery powered versus the magnetic powered. If we look at taillight versus taillight uh, with the MagicShine CME30, it's a $35 set with up to 30 lumens. They also have an ambient light sensor, which is pretty cool at this price. You can see the CIO lights are quite a bit longer with the elongated design due to the battery contact, the magnetic uh, contact point. It also uh, has a more robust mounting system though. With the Magic Shine, you get a basic rubber strap, while this is more theft proof. Next up is the Planet Bike Spoke USB lights, which we've also reviewed here. These are also really simple lights at $40 with a less than 20 lumen output. Uh, they're really designed to be convenient lights you can leave on your bike. Uh, again, quick mount, which also means it's uh, easy to steal as well as easy to take off, so not theft resistant. However, again, uh, form factor wise, these are a lot more compact as they sit flush while these are quite a bit larger. So that's something to be aware of. Also, if you want to pay more, you can actually get much more expensive compact lights uh, with additional features. These are the Bontrager Ion RT and the Flare RT taillight. So really compact, uh, high output here. I think it's up to 200 lumens with the Ion and uh, 90 lumens with the RT taillight. But again, uh, battery powered, which also runs out with no battery status indicator. So I think the big difference here is, uh, and plus these are $60 a, a piece, so about 115 for the set. So obviously the price is double the price of the relights. Now let's do a comparison between the different lights while they're installed on the bike. Here I have the Planet Bike Spoke USB, the Magic Shine CME30, and then the relight up here. Uh, right off the bat, obviously the form factors are quite a bit different. With the relight, because you have to get close to this magnet surface, uh, it ends up really sticking out quite a bit. Also has me worried if you put your bike on a train or public transit, this is susceptible to be nudged, so you will have to readjust as needed. Also, you can see with a spoke USB light, uh, this is a more traditional little uh, blinky light. They usually stick out on the outside of the fork, so they add a little bit of width, while the Magic Shine CME30 sits nice and flush. And it looks pretty good from the front angle due to the taller form factor. Uh, but the great thing about the relight here is that no battery. So with these, you only get a simple one level warning, if that. So these will just die mid-ride while you can leave the relight on. Uh, for the entire ride. 
Now let's take a look at the light output from the Relight CIO lights on the road. As you can see, I have pretty good range of visibility with the wide lens. And especially as you start moving, they're fairly bright. Now you gotta remember they're under 20 lumens, so they definitely do not illuminate the road. They definitely help you be seen and not to see the actual road. So it's definitely important to add secondary lights and just leave these on the bike. Also, once you come to a stop, they stay illuminated for up to two minutes, which is more than enough for any stoplight or stop signs, which is a really nice feature. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the CIO light. One of the best things about the light is that it's battery free. You don't have to worry about USB rechargeability or replacing any batteries. You can just leave it on your bike and forget about it. Also, I'm really happy with the theft resistant metal wire mount. It's something I haven't seen before. Most other theft resistant lights use security bolts, which require a special head. With this, it uses a standard uh, Allen key. However, the mountain is clever enough that no one will really steal it unless they have the manual in front of them. Also, the fact that it continues to flash for up to two minutes despite not having a battery is a really great feature. So even if you come to a stop sign or light, it won't turn off on you. Some of the cons are the sensitive positioning. Like any speed sensor, cadence sensor, those magnets need to be within a certain tolerance. So if they get nudged, uh, you do have to always put them back in place. Also, these lights uh, have a pretty low lumen per dollar ratio versus other uh, lights. So at almost $60, you're not getting many lumens. You're, getting more, you're paying for the fact that it's battery free. Also, the elongated form factor due to magnets is one negative. This is a bulkier light than a, a typical blinky light, which would sit flush with a fork or a seat stay. Taking everything into account, I would give the CIO lights an 8.3 out of 10. These are really cool battery free bike light set. Uh, it's great that they have this theft resistant mounting and it's pretty clever the way they've uh, packaged everything together. Definitely recommend it as a secondary light. You can really leave on your bike and just forget about it. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. If you want to see more content from us, you can visit our website at thesweetcyclist.com or follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.